Hello everyone, welcome to TechWide. And today we are discussing about the Scale System Manager. So SSM is a powerful tool for managing and optimizing our system and fleets. So as an administrator, it is necessary to manage all the resources, particularly all the instances from a single dashboard. And for this, a Scale System Manager or SSM is a kind of a service which allows us to manage and automate the administrative tasks on our instances whether it is on-premises or on the cloud. So it also simplifies the process of managing multiple instances by providing a central dashboard for configuration, uh, resource management, and monitoring. So what actually we can do with the Scale System Manager or SS? Well, first we can execute the command on one or more instances without the need for the manual login and also simplify the automate the process of patching our instances. And we can also collect and manage information about our instances such as operating system, uh, software and configuration. And, uh, and gain all the valuable insights into our instances like uh, performance uh, and their health. So Scale System Manager having lots of options to manage our resources. But today and uh, first of all, let us put some instances into the Fleet Manager and manage it. So Fleet Manager is a type of a complementary service uh, to scale system manager, which is designed specifically for the managing the large fleet of instances. And we can say it uh, simplify our scaling, monitoring, and uh, uh, maintaining a large number of instances across the multiple region. So let's go to our dashboard and uh, see how can we do it. So this is my AWS dashboard and uh, write down in the search bar, AWS system manager. and go to the fleet manager. So right now we have zero instances. Let's go back to our EC2 dashboard and launch some instances, right? But before creating any instances and to put our instances into the fleet manager, we have to create a role in which we actually provide a permission to manage our instances. And for that, go to the IAM dashboard or you can search it IAM into the search bar. Click on create roles. Now we have to choose the entity type. And this time our entity type is AWS service. And under the use cases, let us choose the EC2 because right now we do not have any Lambda function. So just choose the EC2 and click on next. As you can see more than 850 policies are there. So let me type, I mean SSM managed because we want this particular policies to be attached. There are two policies which is related to SSM managed instances. And let me select the first one which is Amazon SSM managed instance and click on next. Name the role. Let me put the name AWS underscore SSM underscore role. You can also put some description about this particular role. So the step one is the trusted entity and I allow all the effects which is written in the JSON format. And step two is a permission, which we already selected, and click on create role. After creating the role, let's back to our EC2 dashboard, and this time, launch some instances. The process is quite very similar to launch an instance. First of all, name the instance. Let me name instance one and choose the AMI or operating system of uh, Amazon Linux in my case. Key pair is necessary. Let me choose proceed without a key pair. Put all the network setting in default mode. You can allow or disallow the SSH. Because this is a demo instance, so I unselect it. Go to the advanced detail. In advanced detail, there is an option of instance profile. So click over there and select the role, which we already created in identity and access management. So this is very important. Leave everything as it is. Increase the instance as you want. Let me increase it up to three and launch instance. It will take one or two minutes. 
So as the instance is creating, our instance profile also synchronized with the fleet manager because we provide a certain role for it and we can control our instances from the fleet manager to install any package, to run any command and to provide any type of permission in one go. Our all instances have common name. Let me change it a little bit. Now let's go to our system manager and uh, let me refresh it. So one instance is synchronized with our fleet manager and let me refresh one or more time and you can see after some time within two or three minutes our all instances which are having the permission of SSN we can see into the fleet manager and we can control the instances from here. So how to work or manage the instances from here we will see in our next video. So that's it from today and thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thank you.